At White, Greer & Maggard Orthodontics, we believe that greatness is in the details. Each decision we make is for the benefit of our patients and our community. This means using industry-leading technology to help you achieve your goals and uncover your perfect smile. Our precision and efficiency results in an experience that is both pleasurable and affordable. White, Greer & Maggard Orthodontics, applying precision and elegance to your smile. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. Some things never change. Like the sound of pads crushing against the equipment, the feel of cleats on fresh cut grass, or the deep breaths from a full practice. Another thing that never changes, the feeling of relief when the whistle blows for break. And the savory snack to go along with it. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Did you know in addition to education assistance, UPS now provides housing for qualified employees? Through the UPS Kentucky Living Options and Opportunities Path, also known as UPS Kentucky Loop, you can work part-time in Louisville, go to school at Jefferson Community and Technical College, and receive housing for up to two years, earn a degree, or learn a trade. It's up to you. Loop benefits are available to those who live outside the Louisville metro area, whether you're just starting college or going back to school. It's time to get in the loop. For more information, visit upsjobs.com. That's upsjobs.com. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. The future of healthcare seems dark at times, but for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. 
work really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money. And now my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in Somerset. Take a little walk with me I'll keep you in good company And be there for you to the end You'll never be alone, my friend mm -hmm. What's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingi beef jerky. Each one handmade from Ronnie Mingi's all-natural recipe using top quality beef. That's what makes Mingi beef jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingiBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their new... Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Lexington Catholic High School, William Warfield, here alongside my good friend, Jared Peck. And, Jared, we got, uh, got a big game here tonight between Lexington Christian Academy and Lexington Catholic. Yeah, it, uh, both of them got a, a few ailments going on, but they're going to try to to uh, right the ship here today. Uh, this is the first district matchup for LCA. Uh, Catholics already got one in, but they took a 1-0 loss to Lafayette, I think, last week. Yeah, we have a late start tonight, you know, with it being a district game. You know, the district game started at 8 o'clock, so um, that's where we're at right now, getting ready to get soccer on here at Lexington Catholic High School, Joseph K. Ford Stadium. And uh, with that being said, we're waiting on the uh, teams out there to – Come out on the field is, looks like, is it in the blue over there? That is uh, Lexington. Catholic. Catholic, yep. It's so Lexington Catholic, and it says there on the back of the jersey as I zoom in on it, we can <laughs> we can see it. Those numbers are a little bit hard to, to see yep. under the lights here. but uh, Catholic's starting lineup is uh, Brian Banahan up top. They got uh, Logan Abshear. Uh, one midfielder, Santi Peralta, is running the show in the middle. Uh, then they got Ethan Elbert um, on the other side. Wilson Hurrigan and Connor Ott are your defensive midfielders. In the back line is White Combs, Jackson Kern, Michael Duzik, and Ryan Fields. Catholic starts out with the ball as they'll be moving right to left on your screen. And... Uh play it back to start this one out. Yeah, that's Jackson Kern there with the ball. And he lost uh, Brutus Clay to a, a knee injury, which they're hoping is not so serious that he has to have surgery. He's kind of resting it right now, but they're not certain about his being able to return for the season. So uh, Kern normally plays up a little higher in the midfield, but with uh, Brutus Clay out, Kern's uh, off to center back. A little bit of contact there. The official will blow the whistle, and we'll have a free kick coming up here for Lexington Christian. Well, they got a big football game on Friday night. Uh, this uh, this game considered call, to be called football as well, but the American, uh, we call it soccer over here, but a big football game coming up Friday night. So you, all week you got LCA and Lexington Catholic. You got girls soccer tomorrow night, boys soccer tonight, and then on Friday night the big football game. You know when volleyball plays? I, I did not look and see when volleyball <laughs> plays. But 
I know they're billing the game up on Friday night as the Holy War. <laughs> I think, uh, matter of fact, I think your your good uh, friend over there, Josh Moore, uh, kind of gave it that a couple years ago, and it kind of stuck with everybody. Yeah. Christians versus Catholics. Christians versus versus also Christians, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Call it what you want. It's going to be a war on Friday night, just like it is here tonight. And tomorrow night with the girls team. Yep. That girls game tomorrow night is going to be played over at Lexington Christian Academy. Yep. On a field a little bit smaller than this, but it's the grass and it's pretty nice. That's a good step in there. Should note that Dobbs for LCA not playing tonight. Um, he's out resting tonight, but he will be, and I believe he's number six for, for LCA. So he will be in the game on Friday night for football as he'll ah. be the field goal kicker. Yeah, he, kicker, field goal kicker. Is I that guess. Ethan Hamilton? Uh, no, 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 Dobbs. Oh, Dobbs, all right. Yeah, last name's Dobbs. All right. Andrew Dobbs? Yeah, Andrew's, uh, I believe Andrew's his brother. Oh, okay. Andrew's his Andrew's older brother. There. Andrew's out there. I'll get it right. I uh, see so he has a, a starter out tonight who's sick, and I believe that's Andrew e or Ethan Hamilton. Oh, here comes a Catholic move. trying to make yep. a move. Yes, sir. And hands trying to force his way through. Shot. Shot Goal. in the score. Oh. hand able to knock it in to start this one out here for Lexington Catholic. And we will take another look at that here on the replay as Banahan finds the – Back of the net, and uh, we'll cue that up for you here. So you can see uh, Ben Hand doing his thing. Yeah, and it's just uh, a force of will here. He's a pretty big guy, and he's just fighting off two, three defenders and right gets loose. there, yeah. able no to chance. chip it in. Far side, and that's. Going to be his 10th goal on the year. Third goal scorer. And if you don't have an answer for him, you're going to have a long night. Ball played on the far side. Lexington Catholic in control right now. They lead one to nil. Banahan with a shot and a score. Uh, it's a nice attempt at a give and go there. A little back heel action from Santi Peralta. You are watching the game live here on Prep Spin. Want to thank. Jared, and of course, uh, Jerry, you're not only working with the uh, Herald Leader, but uh, you also have your own website as well. Yep, SoccerInTheBlueGrass.com. We've got uh, video interviews up from all my preseason interviews for the Herald Leader. Uh, you can watch those kids uh, answer my questions and uh, look, coach a little coach's preview as well. Uh, we got the last ones up a couple days ago. You guys work very, very hard on that. Uh, Getting all that content, it's a challenge at times. But, uh, you guys were able to get all that in and did a great job. Uh, heard that it was Santi Peralta, number four, for Lexington Catholic's birthday today. Yep. I think they were singing happy birthday to him before the game started, actually. <laughs> and a matter of fact, I believe he had a hat trick on his birthday today in the JV game, didn't he? Oh, I didn't see him play in the JV game. but Somebody said that uh, – Peralta had a hat trick in the JV game. Now, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I can neither confirm nor deny that. You are again watching the game live here on Prep Spin. We got just over 35 minutes left to go here in the first half of play. It's already one to nil, Lexington Catholic with Banahan as he was able to put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, a little challenge there here at midfield. Ball going to be cleared out. I think uh, David Gadbury and for all his uh, help as we bring back night vision back over here at uh, Lexington Catholic. Ooh. Big, uh, <laughs> big contact over there. One of the guys from Lexington Catholic took a flip. It was uh, basically foot meets foot, but ball in between. 
as a sandwich happened there. Kelly going to play it back. I'm going to shout out to Jackson Kern while I got a chance here as well as uh, one of our uh, student interns over there at BD Global has had a great summer with Jackson and did an awesome job over there is what, I, what yeah, I've heard. There's a four pass there. And it's not to with it. Plays it back to Kern. Good crowd here tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that a nice pass from Barralta. Ooh, and a nice defensive play there a, by LCA. That was number tackle. 10. Yeah, number 10 for LCA. That's Kevin Howard with that tackle. Kevin Howard. Kevin. G A V I N. Gavin. <laughs> Eagles trying to push up oh, here on the near side ball. line. It could be Taco. a good ball. Dawson Hendrickson in the corner. And Kern out fights him for it, but there's a whistle. Do have a whistle out there. I'm not sure what it's about. I'm going to say it's a corner kick. Must have been on the line over there. Uh, and Gavin Howard going to take it. I didn't even see the official in position to make that call. I thought he was behind the play, but called a corner kick. That's a low one. Clear back out. That was a good play over there. They're trying to. So Knights will have a goal kick here with 32 minutes left to go here in the first half of play. He's trying to find Chase Worthington for that uh, just little deflection in, and uh, he just got too much of it when he ran in to get it. Man a hand back. That ball gonna it's good go battle. out of play. Lex Cath wins the corner. Corner kick coming up for the Knights. My apologies. Jerry, don't mean to over talk you. I tell to get the fans <laughs> updated, I left one of our audio cords at home. So we're doing it without <laughs> headsets tonight. Well, without being able to hear each other in a headset. Bring those uh, splitters with us, and I did not tonight. But everything oh, else that's is a good. dangerous ball. Kern's got it. No, nope. Kern nice had a point blank look at it, but yeah, just had, he had to get it under control, and I gave the defender enough time to get there. Yeah, LCA's quick. You got to give them credit. LCA able to get back on that defense on that play. And Banahan very aggressive, trying to win that ball back, but a little too aggressive there. Has any uh, team surprised you early on this season? I, th I think one of my big surprises would, would have to be uh, uh, West Jasmine boys. I thought that they were doing pretty well. Well, it surprised me that Dunbar lost 5-0 to Collegiate. That was a surprise. I didn't. I don't think they expected that to happen. I don't think anybody else expected that to happen. But apparently Collegiate has a really nice player there, and, and it just snowballed on them. But uh, yeah. you see Dunbar getting results now and coming around. And I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen last oh. year, I want to say, when Highlands visited West Jessamine Girls, and you thought, man. <laughs> What's going on? They had a freshman Highlands last year. She scored uh, four goals in that game. Oh, my. There's some defensive drills that week, I would imagine. But no, on, on the boys' side, I, I thought that uh, Brian Station uh, would be they, – they lost a, a game. Um, they lost a couple of games that I thought that they might have been favored in. Yeah. And then uh, they're playing Henry Clay tonight. So we're going to find out uh, what Brian Station has tonight because that Henry Clay team, it's not the Henry Clay team that you might normally see. Taco on around here. Yeah, that, uh, I mean, history is definitely on Henry Clay's side. It is, but uh, the, the, I think the numbers this year and the leadership this year might be on Brian Station's side, but it's just a matter of whether they put it together. They, they've, they've had the athleticism for a while. Yeah. And 
they've had the players for a while, but it's just been they got run ten nothing last year, and the most uh, mind numbing result you could imagine. I don't think anybody expected that to happen. Um, and so tonight, if they if Henry Clay runs them again, uh, I just don't know what to think about Brian Station at all. Uh, Tate's Creek handled them uh, last week six nothing, and that was quite a surprise because I, I expected that game to be uh, more even than that. Well, LCA is going to have a, a free kick here as the Knights will square two up. It takes a one hopper right there in front of the. Yeah, that's Philip Scott keeper. taking the free kick right at uh, the keeper, uh, Ian Rothbauer. Rothbauer handles it cleanly. Knights were ranked up as high as number three in the state early on in the season, and I believe now they. Fell back to what, 10? They're number eight. Number eight. Uh, they took a, a couple of losses. They lost to Trinity 2 nothing. Yeah. Uh, and then they lost to the district rival Lafayette 1 nothing. who I think if you were talking about surprises yeah, Lafayette. this year, Lafayette is a surprise um, because they are, they are getting the results. And we knew that they were going to defend. I don't think we knew they were going to defend quite as well as they do. And shutting down Catholic uh, is no easy feat with Banahan up top. And they held – Catholic to no goals, and they got their one, and uh, they're sitting pretty nice and have moved from basically, you know, deep in the rankings up to number 10. Have you figured out what kind of formula those rankings use? Is it is it strength of schedule, goals? Well, and we, we talked about the preseason rankings being kind of off because it is a formula based on results. Um and, and I, I'm, I'm not sure how that formula works, but it's definitely based off results because the preseason rankings were completely off base. I mean, they weren't even close to being uh, what a preseason ranking would have been for, you know, the amount of, for instance, you know, Henry Clay was number five preseason. They returned two or three, maybe four seniors and had a, a lineup last year of all seniors. Um, I guess they had nine seniors. They lost nine seniors off that Henry Clay roster. There's a shot. LCA able Some. to break that up twice on that play. That's what they call the second bite of the apple there that uh, Peralta had. A little wide on the second bite. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they, you're really starting to see them shake out now to where they're about where they ought to be. I mean, we got three uh, 43rd district teams in the top ten with – uh, Lexington Catholic and Dunbar and Lafayette and you, you're starting to see them come around and now is when uh, about when they, they feel real they feel like what's actually should be in the state whereas maybe before first couple of weeks they weren't got a whistle again out here on the field and looks like we might have yeah. a sub coming into the That's ball the game William Warfield alongside Jared Peck of the Lexington Herald Leader and uh, Bluegrass Soccer. Soccer and the Bluegrass. Soccer and the bluegrass. There you go. I'm going to get it right. One of these I'm not days. paying you enough. That's why it comes coming out for, for Lexgrass. Soccer and the Bluegrass.com. I got on there a couple days ago, actually, and laid out pretty well. Now we have a ton of content on there now. Yeah. I'm glad to see more folks covering the soccer, you know, in the, in the yeah. area. We do have uh, the Herald Leader's Josh Moore, HL Preps, on Twitter. He's out. Uh, he should be out at Bryan Station, Henry Clay, tonight. Hopefully well, you, he's tweeting from there. Yeah, and I, I didn't mean that uh, in that way. I was talking about, you know, you don't never see a radio station show up at a soccer game. No. You don't see TV stations show up at a soccer game, even for highlights, unless it's the championship or the finals, it seems like. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I had uh, maybe a coach or two give me a hard time about, you know, not getting enough publicity in the Herald Leader. And I was like, I don't see any radio stations out here. I don't see any TV stations out here. Yeah. I was like, I'm doing, I'm doing all I can for you, bud. It's like I created my own website to cover you, so I don't know what else you want from me. I'm trying. But they definitely deserve it. There's no question that, that he's – oh, look at this breakaway. Good ball, LCA shot in oh. the score. Eagles tied up. Is that Anderson? 
for they 28. Yeah, I believe that was, that was 28 for LCA. Uh, it's Dawson Hendricks because that's his. We got a nice look on that. Let's watch that again. Well, we got the tail end of it there. We'll back it up a little bit for you and let you see it again. Here you go. Our UPS play of the game. Philip Scott to Henderson to goal. And the goalie was frozen on that one. He had there's nothing he could do when he got in that position. And that was a beautiful shot. LCA and Catholic all tied up, one all. That's Hendrickson's fifth goal. Of the season, it says here. Back to the live action as it just got started back in. 23 minutes and some change left to go here in the first half of play. William Warfield alongside Jared Peck. And we are bringing you high school soccer here in the Bluegrass State. We're live tonight on three platforms. We're on, uh, we're on YouTube, well, four platforms technically. YouTube, Prepsman. We're on NFHS Network, and we're on Facebook Live tonight. A lot of people tuning into this one. It's rivalry week between these two schools. Now, Lexicast coach Jonathan Kinslow was kind of encouraged that his team had only given up one goal really in the run of play. Every other goal they've given up this season, yeah. and they've given up nine of them now, uh, has been off a set piece or a corner kick or a free kick. And so Hendrickson's goal was only the second goal scored against Catholic in the run of play, and it was a beautiful three ball to Hendrickson to, to get to the back of the net there. Throw in coming up here for the Knights over on the far side. Oh, I was a, I was a, see, yeah, clear that out, but that could have been dangerous. Yeah, Banahan had that, turned it beautifully. You just couldn't get a touch on it to slow it down. Here comes LCA on the run. We'll play it over on the far side. Tried to cross it back, but Catholic's there. That ball might make it to the, yeah, I was going to say, it just about made it to the stands over on the far side. Now we say that Luxcath is ranked number eight in the state. LCA's ranking is a bit farther down. They're all the way down at number 68 because they've got you know, three wins against five losses and a tie. See, and, and, and that's why I say – and I hope I don't offend anybody that makes the rankings, but that's why I say when, when you're talking about a district as powerful as this district is and this region, well, the region, you know, 11th region, you could throw those rankings out, out the window because anybody on any given night, man, can knock off somebody, you know? Yeah, we've had our powerhouses in Dome Bar and Henry Clay over the years, but... Now you definitely have to play the game. Yeah, I mean, if, if you got game and... You know, you can have a good defensive effort on a night. You, you've got an opportunity. Everybody's got a click, though, now, to make it happen. I talked to Coach Fugman before the game, and he said, he's like, well, this is our first district game, and we're ranked where we are, and they're ranked where they are, but we just have to see where we what, where, what comes out here. And, uh, you know, this is really the, the big test, you know, uh, LCA knows that they're probably in the toughest district in the state, and they embrace that. It's like that makes them all play harder. That makes them, um, you know, turn out to be a pretty good team, regardless of the record at the end of the year. They know that they've given it their all in this district. Eagles with a new head coach this year as well, and, uh, you know, he goes from coaching the girls to coaching the guys. And of course, he used to coach the guys over at uh, Lafayette. Is that right? He coached them at Lafayette, and he did not have a losing record at Lafayette when he coached them. He was a, uh, but the problem was he was he was in this district where two state champions came out of the district while he was there. So he was always butting his head in the Lexcath or Dunbar, yeah. and uh, he's back here again, uh, just with a different uh, different school. But the same problem. But yeah, he, he had some really good teams at Lafayette. It's just it's just a brutal brutal place to be. Oh, nice takeaway there by Peralta. Knights 
Spreading the ball out here. He's going to shoot. Yep, shot, and it's going to be a save there by the Eagles. As soon as he took those two steps in, you knew that he was going to let that go. And the defender did a good job to get a slight deflection on it. And uh, Eric Burrows scooped it up. You were talking about the West Jess boys. They're winning 9 nothing. Yeah. I, I tell you, man, they actually, Brock Sullivan's got a great group over there at West Jess. You got a super sophomore on that team. Um, can't think of his name, though. <laughs> I need to get over there and see those guys here soon. Uh, according to HL Preps on Twitter, there is no score between Tate's Creek and uh, Bryan Station about 12 minutes into the game. Knights got a shot open. Uh, and a save again there by LCA. He's going to feel like he, he had time to do more with that than he did. Uh, he kind of. Was Burrow, Burrows, I believe. Yeah, he. he uh, <laughs> he is going to hate that tomorrow. Uh, Burrows is the keeper for uh, LCA. He, he scooped it up. Like St. Catholic's got their uh, steak hoagies coming up here um, next week. And uh, they're taking orders for those right now. Reach out to Kevin <laughs> Bruggeman. Give him a shout and he'll save you some. 375 apiece. 375 apiece. You can pick those up at the school. Well, LCA with another run Hendrickson. Ooh, oh, he goes down. Big tackle. And the referee is yeah. not buying it. Young man went down. He's still down. He, he kind of did stumble over the ball there. And yeah, it might, might have twisted that. an ankle or something. We got. Yeah, he hit the he hit the turf hard with that knee. That doesn't feel good. We got a timeout real quick. Well, the clock isn't going to stop, but <laughs> out of respect for the player down, I'm going to go check on him. Uh, he did not stop the clock. They're going to have him walk off the field, it looks like. Well, while we're waiting on that, it gives me an opportunity to thank Bluegrass Orthopedics, the official sports medicine and injury provider of Prep Spin. I want to thank Andrew Carlson and his great staff and uh, all the great doctors over there at Bluegrass Orthopedics. We just did a halftime interview with them. Uh, on Saturday night and some good stuff in an interview if you want to check it out on Prep Spin. They got the uh, Night of Champions coming up and uh, we encourage you guys to get out there and vote. There will be awards handed out that night, of course, and uh, there's several different categories, Comeback Player of the Year and things like that that you can vote for. And uh, you can check that out at uh, bluegrassortho.com, bluegrassortho.com. Coming together there, there was a play on. That shot earlier was from uh, Jackson's current little brother. He was a freshman, Bennett Kern. And I bet he's going to hear about it later this evening <laughs> <laughs> for standing over that ball all alone and not putting it away. That's a good takeaway there. Knight's pushing up on the far sideline. We're going to play it back here to the middle, about midfield. There's Jackson Kern, plays it back up. Yep. To his brother. Tell who Kern is. He's the tallest young man out there on the field. <laughs> yeah. And Bennett's sure. not much. Oh, Bennett having have one shot there. shot and a collection again there by the LCA keeper. He's having a night tonight, able to collect yeah. several so far. And that was, that was a better effort by uh, Bennett Kern there. He, he got some... He got some mustard on that one. It just uh, it was too far back to to be much trouble for. Yeah, you gotta you gotta strike it when you're playing against either one of these teams. Ball on 
the far sideline again here for Lexington Catholic. They've controlled the ball most of the uh, first half here, but LCA has tied it up. It's one all, no score. Well, he's trying to do it all himself there and got caught. He's still hanging on to it. Yeah. LCA just cannot clear it. And that one's going to make it. That would be three on Friday night, but nothing tonight. <laughs> well, if it falls to you there, why not just why not have a go? And he wishes he got a little more on top of it, but uh, they definitely you feel the pressure being put on by Lexington Catholic right now. Yeah. They're, they're becoming pretty relentless, and, and really they're doing it uh, without a couple of their starters in. Banahan's not in right now. Uh, Peralta's not in right now, so it's a, it's the subs who are, who are putting it on. Ball going to be played here on the near side. As Catholic again trying to get a good ball up here on the wing. Oh, good turn. Good timing there. Catholic shot and a score. Nice pass. Nice finish for the Knights. That was number five for Lexington Catholic. That finished. They say Henderson or he Hendrickson. Said, you have a 12 on there? Well, it was the number five that put it in. Yeah, he just called five as the assist man. 12 was the assist man. <laughs> Five is the one that put it in. HB Clay. There you see it there on the instant replay. Instant replay on live. That all started with a long ball into the corner from the center back, Jackson Kern. Yep. You are again watching the game live here on Prep Spin, and we are simulcasting tonight. We're on Facebook, and we're also NFHS Network tonight. That ball headed back the other way. It's KHB Clay's second goal of the season according to the state stats. That was a beautiful play, though. That was three passes. Wasn't that three passes? That boom, was. boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You're right. Well, you had the, uh, I guess in volleyball, there's three touches on each side, right? <laughs> well, there's a few the middle one's a setup. What's there's the first one? <laughs> you know what the first hit I in volleyball is? No idea. Dig. Isn't it the dig? Well, uh, digs like if you it's dive for the ball, and dig it out of, the, dig it out of the dirt, I guess, or in our case in high school volleyball off the gym floor. <laughs> Fans were not happy with that uh, exchange between Casey Clay and the defender over there. That uh, referee wasn't having it. That was a good dummy by Peralta. He was back in. Banahan's back in, getting ready to take this throw. Finds Bennett Kern. Yep, now Philip Scott here for LCA with a through ball to Taco Simpazi. If he can get to it, it's a goal. He's going to get it, it looks like, yes. He's going to find the back of the net and a goal. Simpazi, is that who you said? That's Simpazi. Yep. Nice look, and we are all tied up. And these two, I'm, I'm telling you, Jared, when you get these two together, throw the records out the window. Throw it out there, man. <laughs> they, not, they just don't matter. That was a very Let's good watch this one again. Attack. We're gonna watch it again if you, you don't see. Care. A, you see Lexcath turn it over, and then LCA makes quick work. Right there, and he got to the ball so quick, and it was an instant reaction once he got to the ball to tap it with the inner foot into the back of the goal. Nice job there. That's really, that's, it's almost the same play as they got their first goal on, except to a different forward. Um, just, you know, <laughs> over to striker and uh, going to out, out fight you to the ball. Uh, LCA has got that through ball working tonight. I think both teams know that they're live tonight on prep spin. What do you think? <laughs> there you go again. He plays it. <laughs> If he can get to it, trying to get, get to the to ball, the oh. keeper comes out and makes. I don't mean might have got ran into there. Nah, it, 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 Riley Kern, or uh, excuse me, Jackson Kern came and cleaned that up. <laughs> uh, he 
I knew I was going to call it wrong once this. I was going to hey, call I always, his dad's name. I always call Jackson Riley for some reason. <laughs> I'd, I'll tweet it out and say Riley, you know. <laughs> Meaning Jackson. But yeah, Jackson sniffed that one out because it was him again. Right? Good. We got Banahan. He's going to, uh, yeah, at least step to him. Trying to get loose, wasn't he? And just could not do it. The speed of LCA there matching them up right now. This is a physical oh, game. Yeah. Here we go again. This Eagles is up and down. Out. Bennett Kern's trying to keep up with Philip Scott, and he gets it and turns him away. Here we go the other way. This is wide open action. <laughs> this is back and forth. I mean, fast breaks, if you will. Yeah, he better handle that correctly. There we go. Oh, we got a foul. Waiting yeah. to see the... Caught a, a little touch foul down there in the corner. It's going to go LCA's way. But, yeah, this is 2-2. Uh, two -two. That is something. Did you expect that? Uh, or did you expect that in the first half? When I when I heard that uh, Lexington Catholic was maybe down a couple of players, I, I thought it would be a little closer than than maybe we expected coming in, given that one team is six and two and one is three five and one. But no, did not expect this. We got a this is this stoppage in play. Is it heat index? It could be a water break. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, water break. So they're giving them a water break right now. Um, I believe it's you know it, I mean it's been hot all day. Yeah. And uh, so, with that being said, why don't we take a look at uh, some of these goals? So we got uh, four goals in the ball game, and we'll <laughs> we'll just play them all for you here. So this is the first goal of the ball game, or I'm sorry, this is the. Yeah. Let me take down this. Yeah. So I guess this will be the second goal of the ball game, right? Playing at 100%. All right. This is the Hendrickson's goal right okay. there. Here we go. This is the ball in the corner that is found by Catesby Clay. And it's just a, a beautiful cross and finish. On a fast break. Very nice finish. And here, yeah. LCA says, anything you can do, I can do without a cross. <laughs> That's the scoring effort in this one right now. So both teams back out on the field, and we're ready to roll here again in this one. Posse with an effort. A little too hopeful from outside the 18 with a man on, but he got it away. Is that Peralta on the shot? Yep. That's a nice point. Yep. Maybe needed to drop it there instead of trying of to fight through. But, yeah, I mean, looking at this LCA team, it's like, how did they lose five games? Good gracious. What is going on? They're starting to figure stuff out here. They're really – he was really hoping to find Banahan running there, and that was just a little too long and too hopeful. But Van Han's got speed, and he, he did almost get to it. Got subs coming into the ballgame for Lexington Catholic. We Moorefield alongside Jared Pack here tonight as we bring you high school soccer. It's the 43rd district here on Prep Spin. OCA and Lexington Catholic. Some call it the Battle of Clay's Mill. <laughs> Oh. oh, header rejected. 
It was a good look, but rejected. That was a fantastic play. Yeah, watch the serve. And right there's the header attempt. And a nice knee there by the keeper of LCA to prevent that one from going in. Peralta with the header in off a, a really nice pass. I didn't see who made that pass, but that was that was a beautiful pass in. And just unfortunately for Lexcath, found the keeper's knee. I don't know how much the reaction time the keeper had for it, but it was just enough. Big run here. Knights, another save. That was a vicious run down the right side to force that corner. Got a little over six minutes left to go here in this first half of play, and it's been a dandy. I don't think that's quite 10 yards he's given them, but they don't care. Here we go. Header. Went the wrong way, but right to the teammate and cleared back out. Nice defense, Eagles. Oh, he Eagles. that exit. Eagles never gave up on the play, able to <laughs> clear it back out. Cries of handball from the crowd, but are not swaying the center ref. Uh, that was an amazing sequence to find Kern. And Kern almost found somebody on the, the near post of the corner kick, and it just did not find over the line after the clearance from the LCA defender who was guarding that back post. And here back with Jackson Kern with it, trying to set it back up. i got to give a plug out to the Lexington Legends. They'll be playing at home tomorrow night in a playoff game. First playoff in years. Uh, first time since 2006. I think they said six, maybe 2009. Well, that's going to be a day. If he can get back to that, he's got help. Now, Peralta here, left footed. Oh, and he just missed. Had a little yank on it. <laughs> yeah, you can see LCA yeah, getting kind of tired because. Look like my golf Lexcath, swing. Lexcath is really <laughs> starting to wear him out down the right side. I don't know who that is over on the far right, but he is he has made a couple of uh, just blinding runs and uh, put LCA in deep trouble. Coming up here for the Knights. Aristaco Simpazi taking it down. Nice move there to get back open. Laying it across. Oh, just a poor touch there. Jack and <clears throat> Jackson Kern hoping for some more of that magic that led to that goal before. Wilson Hurricane to Bennett Kern. Hurricane, I think that's Catesby Clay over there. Oh, and he's fouled. That's a hard that's a hard foul. And he kind of caught a piece of the foot, it looks like. Let's watch this again. Slow it down for you. Yeah. Just a little innocent trip. Didn't kill him, I'm sure of that. <laughs> but, uh. 
Creek. Jackson Kern can put it in the box. Oh, just missed the, just missed his brother there for the header in. Had a good strike on it. Yeah, he he was definitely trying to find the next tallest player on the field, which just happens to be his younger brother. And Banahan might be close to him. Banahan's a little wider than than Bennett Kern, <laughs> but they're they're both look to be almost as tall as each other. Collected again there by LCA. <laughs> LCA had the, the runner well covered there. There's Logan Absher out there. He was trying to find. Here's Peralta again. Shot, nice save again. Follow up coming up and it's cleared out. The Eagles. This cat is definitely getting more shots. They're being aggressive, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's it just feels like a matter of time here, but you you never know. LCA is getting both lucky and they're being uh, they are getting it out of there. But I don't know running. They're putting Far Eric side. Burroughs to work and goal for LCA. He is he is earning his letter tonight. First half winding down as we get down to 10 seconds. And what a turn. Uh, just a little too big a touch there from Peralta. Wow, what a first half. What a first half of play here at Lexington Catholic High School. We're at the half, folks, where our score is 2-all. LCA and Lexington Catholic here in the first game of the week uh, in this big rivalry series between these two schools just down the street from each other. Tonight, boys soccer on the network. We'll be right back, folks. At White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, we believe that greatness is in the details. Each decision we make is for the benefit of our patients and our community. This means using industry-leading technology to help you achieve your goals and uncover your perfect smile. Our precision and efficiency results in an experience that is both pleasurable and affordable. White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, applying precision and elegance to your smile. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards, they offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Wilhide Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. Some things never change. Like the sound of pads crushing against the equipment, the feel of cleats on fresh cut grass, or the deep breaths from a full practice. Another thing that never changes, the feeling of relief when the whistle blows for break. And the savory snack to go along with it. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. 
Did you know in addition to education assistance, UPS now provides housing for qualified employees? Through the UPS Kentucky Living Options and Opportunities Path, also known as UPS Kentucky Loop, you can work part-time in Louisville, go to school at Jefferson Community and Technical College, and receive housing for up to two years. Earn a degree or learn a trade. It's up to you. Loop benefits are available to those who live outside the Louisville metro area, whether you're just starting college or going back to school. It's time to get in the loop. For more information, visit upsjobs.com. That's upsjobs.com. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. The future of healthcare seems dark at times, but for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. I work really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money. And now, my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. Eight, five, nine, call us. In Lexington and now in London. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in Somerset. Take a little walk with me. I'll keep you in good company. And be there for you to the end. You'll never be alone, my friend. Mm -hmm. What's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingi beef jerky. Each one handmade from Ronnie Mingi's all-natural recipe using top quality beef. That's what makes Mingi beef jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingiBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their newest product, Mingi beef jerky meat sticks in mild, hot, or honey barbecue. I'm on a fixed income. Credit cards help me balance the money that's coming in and what I need to live on. I've thought about bankruptcy, but how am I supposed to pay for it? Sometimes the people that need help the most are the very people who can least afford it. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London, by the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London, 
back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. Eight, five, nine, call in Lexington and now in London. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. At White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, we believe that greatness is in the details. Each decision we make is for the benefit of our patients and our community. This means using industry-leading technology to help you achieve your goals and uncover your perfect smile. Our precision and efficiency results in an experience that is both pleasurable and affordable. White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, applying precision and elegance to your smile. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. Folks, this is Gary Ball, and you hear my catchphrase, soup and a sandwich. When I want the best potato soup and prime rib sandwich, I head over to Rafferty's Restaurants after my games. Check out Rafferty's nine great locations throughout Kentucky, and all you teens, you can eat at Rafferty's before those big ball games. The open prime rib sandwich is what legends are made of. Ask Joe B. Hall, the legend himself, it's his favorite. Rafferty's a big supporter of high school sports throughout Kentucky. Rafferty's, we're the special. We are back here live. The second half of play just getting underway here at Lexington Catholic High School. We're all tied up. Two all. Two all right now. Between these two clubs. Yeah. 
again, want to thank everybody for tweeting at us and tuning in tonight to to this one. Well, this has been a great fun. Great fun. We'll expect a big finish, I think, Jared. As uh, these two teams destined to score a lot of goals in this one, it looks like. We have a free kick coming up. Andrew Dobbs going to take it. Dobbs back in the Goes back post with it. I think Catholics Jackson Kern was able to get ahead on it, get it out of there. Here's Peralta. Peralta's trying to find Banahan, and Banahan's trying to outrun them all. Look at it. Oh, hey, now he's put across. Opportunity and a shot and a score. Broke the tie right off the bat. Yeah, right out of the gate, Lex Cat comes firing down the sideline. That's his yeah. second goal of the night, by the way. Yeah, that's Catesby Clay's second goal, and he got it just like the first by running hard uh, on a ball that was moving up the uh, the left sideline. That's why you keep running for your teammates, folks. Peralta here with a good takeaway. He's going in. He's, he might have a go here. Oh, he checks it up. And LCA is able to get a little clear, but still a trouble. Uh, Goalie got a touch on that. It's going to be a corner. Corner coming up for Lexington Catholic. Uh, LCA jerseys, they got like a, a glow to them, if you will. Kind of like a neon white. Taco Simpazio, that's a nice dump off. And come to get it back. He's got one man to beat. He's got two runners with him. Cross he plays it across, it's going to be cleaned up. And we're going to try to find Banahan again over here on the left. He turns in. Turns in again. Nice. Oh. Peralta just could not find the ball with that defender on him. Laser cross harmlessly. But I tell you, Lexcath is really, the, both these last two goals have been deep balls into the corner for runners to run onto. Um, and the first one, uh, that runner had to do a little work. That time, Banahan uh, just had a free run and placed a beautiful ball across the catch the clay. And Catholic controlling here again as they lead the ball game three to two. A little over 35 minutes left to go here in the ball game. This is a district game too, so if we were to end in a tie, they would have a shootout one or the overtime anyway. That shot just missing to the left. Now Peralta could have taken it first touch. He might have had a little better success than. Uh, trying to turn it wide and come across the, the face of goal like he did. Um, but uh, it was a good effort. Yeah, I feel like at halftime, Lexington Catholic would have felt like they had the better of the game and just made two mistakes um, with turnovers about midfield that uh, LCA just ruthlessly cut out and turned into to goals. Um, 
you know, we felt like Lexicat had, had the better of the first half and more possession. And they feel like they could probably uh, play that ball from deep into the corner anytime they wanted to. That's a dangerous ball in. Taco Zabazzi's got it and mm. fires it wide. <laughs> He's had a couple of good looks today. That one in traffic, yep. but uh, able to get the shot off. Now, LCA has definitely been dangerous, and, and if you give them a chance, and they, like Kath has given them a chance a few times tonight, they're making you pay. Uh, it's, it's um, and really one of the questions probably for Lexcat this year was, was that defensive line because they had a pretty stout senior-led defense last year, and they're makeshifting it a bit this year. And you can see that because, you know, they lost one of their, their main cogs in Brutus Clay and have moved uh, Jackson Kern back to fill that center back role. Um, so you're seeing that there, there, are, there is joy to be had for opponents who can make those connections uh, and, and get that through ball through. Jackson Kern with a goal kick, beautiful goal kick. Uh, poor clearance there. Pass out. Banahan's got it. He's going to let it go. Nope, he passes. Shot. Oh. Score. <laughs> Santi, Santi Peralta, birthday boy, with the goal. Teammates looking them up for the goal. Oh, celebration. Watch this. Yeah, Lexcath showing that you can, uh, we can turn you over too. And if we turn you over deep, we can put it away as well. You see on that uh, goal that everybody kind of froze expecting Banahan to just turn it loose from where he was because he's he's such a deadly goal scorer. Um, but he's been looking for the assist tonight and got two of them. And both of them have been really first class. Yep, step in there. LCA's got some numbers. Good step over. He's gonna, can he play it? Now he goes for Calori. Nice, nice break up there. Likes, likes Kath ends the threat. Nope, but then turn it, gives it right back. Going out wide, not wide enough. Oh, that's a nice dummy throw for Banahan. Oh, oh he just misses it. going to be a corner kick for Lexington Catholic coming up. Yep. Eric Burroughs gets just enough to put that one wide off Banahan's foot. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in tonight. We've got fans watching on the NFHS Network on PrepSpin.com and Facebook. I want to thank Mingy Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of PrepSpin, for making tonight possible. to Banahan here. Plays over to Peralta. Peralta in. Got a runner. That's Hurricane. He cannot get to it in time. 
Cali trying to score oh. in traffic and nice save there by the keeper. Still a lot, nope. Oh, still a lot, no, nice it is a corner kick. You see Lexcath really imposing its will. This is, this is We're only 10 minutes into this second well, half. And like you said, control. They, they rested some of their stars there in the first half for considerable amount of time. Comes a short kick, corner in. Yeah, they would have wanted to make that connection a little better. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Connor Ott on that goal. Oddie, is it Oddie? That ball was uh, rolling thunder. <laughs> yeah. That's a center back's dream right there. Right off the deflection and rolling thunder for the goal. Hopefully they don't uh, start calling him rolling thunder. Yeah, Connor. Which is very possible. I think the announcer <laughs> called him Oddie, but uh, uh, Connor there, he's a defensive center mid. And it fell right to him, and he put it through the crowd on the ground. Nothing anybody could do about that. I wonder what the halftime speech was there from Kinchelow. It was score three goals in ten minutes, I suppose. Whatever it is, it's working here in the second half. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's why uh, the, the Knights are rated so highly, because they are an offensive machine. If you don't get in their way, they've got kids who can put it in the back of the net, and they're showing that tonight. That just goes to show you how good of a defensive team that Lafayette is to hold this team out of the net for 80 minutes. Uh, and that's why you know Lafayette is probably the surprise, not just in the 43rd district in the 11th region, but maybe the state. Oh, that ball goes through. Peralta having a go. Gets a deflection there and Burroughs picks it up. Keeper picked that up. Eric Burroughs coming out for a punt. Ooh. <laughs> Sometimes those don't feel too good, do they? No, probably not. bit over 27 minutes left to go in this ball game with Lexington Catholic leading LCA 5 to 2. Yeah, Lex Catholic has put in their their other keeper. Abby Hoovy's brother, I believe. Abby Van Hoovy. Who's now at Moorhead State and was a star for the Lex Catholic girls team for the last couple of years. the dribbling skills here. Shot. Oh, off the crossbar. <laughs> Hurrigan with a chance. Puts it wide. Watch this. Dribbling skills here, and then he sh takes the shot right there and got a little too much lift on it. I'm calling out the wrong number. That was Logan Hapshire. Apologies for that. 
14 instead of 18. There's 18, the number I was calling, wrong. Back to Jackson Kern. Now he gets it picked off. Philip Scott trying to long ball to Simpazi. Simpazi can get it under control, this is trouble. It's trouble. Shot and the score. Simpazi gonna go grab the ball and bring it back to midfield. Yeah, if LCA has proved that if they turn you over, they can capitalize quickly. Yeah. And that's Simbazi's second goal of the game. Uh, and Hubie blaming himself there, but he was left in no man's land, and there was not a lot he could do. Five to three, our score. Simbazi, that's his second yep. goal of the evening. Let's watch it again here. You're going to see him, he gets left open. Makes yeah. a move. And you know he's going to get back to it there. It was a, kind of a big touch, but then he gets to it and puts it away. That's his seventh goal of the year, according to the state stats. I love how he just grabs the ball, too, and takes it right back to the midfield. Now you got, you got to get, you got to, you got to keep playing. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. contact there in the middle, and we're going to have a foul call. Foul going LCA's way. But LCA has shown they can score quickly. There's no reason for them to – to hang their heads in this game, they're they're putting on a goals on a team that doesn't give up many goals. Uh, before we came into this contest, the Knights have given, only given up eight goals in eight games. Ooh. Oh, there's a good save. Yeah, that was great. Watch this again. Takes it off a long one hopper here. Right there. Plays it perfectly off that bounce. You are watching the game live here on PrepSpin.com. I want to thank Jared Peck for joining me here tonight. William Warfield with you. A little bit over 25 minutes left to go in this contest. Or we got a 5-3 matchup right now in this district battle. Looks like West Jasmine's up 10 to nothing still against Boyle County. Whew. What happened to Boyle soccer? It just kind of fell off the table. Did I just say that? I said that. <laughs> it has. It's kind of, kind of down this year. Must have lost a lot off of last year's team. Here comes Lexington Catholic playing yeah. in on the near side, and we got a whistle. Yeah. Uh, it's going LCA's way. The crowd is not happy about that. That was a kind of a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder play, and uh, LCA got the better of it from the official. Time taken away here with 24 minutes and some change left. Eagles free kick, yep. and it's going to be long and wide. Going for it all, hoping for that uh, one that just gets under the bar there and had a little too much on it. It was Andrew, Dro Andrew Dobbs on that kick. I think it's Andrew's little brother in it. I think Andrew graduated. He's a transy this year. Well, that's what they have on this roster. They got it wrong for him? Is it An they got Andrew on there? Yeah. Yeah. I got to look him up. Why can't people turn in the right rosters? You know, it's it just... They're killing me with these rosters. And it's an honest mistake. You just mix up one brother from the other. <laughs> I'm sure. That Wait. was another dangerous ball into some posse. You know Lewis Hell, right? You know Lewis Hell. Andrew Dobbs, freshman. All right, see what, what what's the other Dobbs kid's name was? See what last year's Dobbs name was. Yeah, I got to look up last year's Dobbs. Tyler. Tyler Dodge. He's now playing at Transylvania. Okay. I was the one that was messed yeah, up. Yeah, I knew I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I couldn't have possibly been wrong. I've probably been calling. You know, we had uh, 
our first game together, we had Shay Robertson with a hat trick a half hour before she had it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it we took probably a came go- true, right? Took a goal away from Abby Bischoff for, for 30 <laughs> minutes, and we're talking about how great Shay Robertson is, which she is, but she didn't have a hat trick yet. We just couldn't see the field and the numbers. We're going to blame these uniforms and their unreadable numbers. Whatever happened, yeah, whatever happened to simple uniform? Yeah. You know? yeah. It's all our problems are these uniforms. Not our ignorance. Another free kick for LCA, and they're going quickly here to Simpazi, but I uh, just couldn't get back to it. So just let that go for a goal kick. Tyler Dobbs. That's, that's the problem when you have so many so many kids. It's like, what are you people doing? <laughs> uh, it's like, how many farm hands do you need? A little over 21 minutes left to go in this one. Rivalry week for these two schools. Friday night, they call it the Holy War. Big football game coming up. Checking the Twitters here. Twitter's a tweeting at Prep Spin. Yeah, it is still 1 0 to Henry Clay at home against Bryan Station. Um, Station just feels like they have such a dangerous team, but when they get in the big games, they are having trouble. And it, it just, I don't know if it's in their head or, or what's going on there, but it really feels like uh, uh, Bryan Station ought to be able to get more results than they do. It's just, you know, they struggled against Hates Creek and. And tonight, a team that, that has such dynamic players and offensive firepower is, is getting locked down by the Devils. Um, there's still some time left, but uh, uh, they need to start picking up some wins. Banahan here fighting through. Good Back ball. here to Absher. He's looking for a way across. Now it's going to turn it back out. Oh, now it's Caseby Clay. Caseby Clay had his, has a little trouble in the first touch there and loses it. We go to Scott here trying to find Sapazi again. I don't. There's too many, too many objects between Sapazi and the ball there. But that's how they've been getting him. And Philip Scott has been finding Sapazi tonight. He's got to assist on two of their three goals. It's like half the back line for LCA being subbed in. And we start with a throw in. No. Now through one of those things where the referee gets picky about where you throw it in at, <laughs> which seems silly, but here we go again. The Simpazi plays it back out, and no, uh, just couldn't find him on the the pass back. Official wanted to get it right. He knows that Chad's watching tonight. <laughs> well, you know those ten feet are important sometimes. And a foul here for a free kick for LCA. Finds Simpazi with it. He's going to turn the corner and see what he's got. He puts it on the, in front of the goal, but can't find any takers on the end of it. And now we got trouble with Banahan on the run. Oh. Heads it down. Look out. Oh, oh great nice. save. Nice save. Banahan wow. kicking the fence on that one because he knew he's not going to get another look like that probably all season with the, the breakaway that he had there. What a, what a save by the Eagles keeper. Eric Burrows coming up big on that stop, running out, challenging the big man for Lex Gath. Banahan's not going to get back on side. And we got a foul. 
And he likes Cat's just going to take it quickly on the free kick. Good denial there in the corner, but nope. And he just too big a touch there on the turn. Banahan's really going to be kicking himself on that because you don't get many looks like that right through the middle. He had everything but the final, final touch on it. Are we finding Sampazi again? If he can get to it. Sampazi. <laughs> a dangerous man out there for LCA. Yeah. You give him two feet, he's going he's gonna to get the best of you. Yeah, the uh, Lexcat's doing a good job keeping him behind him right now. It's a good mo Oh! Contact over there. Yeah. Now, see, it would have felt like he should have got the first call and he kept his feet. If he'd gone down the first time, he might have uh, gotten the first call, but he got the second call. That's Zach Workman down there doing work and gets the free kick. Good ball in, and it's still a little too deep. Look out, Lexcath can turn this around quickly if they keep it on their feet. Oh, he overran it. We got the 921 train moving through the neighborhood. Lexcath gets a free Same kick. Same time every night, Jared. Same time every night. Is that right? 921. Seem to stay on schedule. I think Lexington Catholic would want to settle this game down, but they're still playing it pretty wide open, which uh, might mean some more goals for them, but it could mean some more goals for LCA as they get the turnover. Phillip Scott with it on his foot trying to find some help. Oh, he avoids the foul there. He's got to keep it in, keep control of that ball. He gets the throw in. Has a long run for a throw in from that distance, though. He, Probably need to find his wingman a little earlier than that. Maybe he just didn't feel like he could get it over there. Are you surprised that, you've, that we've seen eight goals tonight in this one? Uh, I would not have. Uh, I would not have taken the over. On the goals here this evening. Um, well, that's an unfortunate head on. He's going to have to go get that to avoid maybe a corner kick. And I think he did. It's a goal kick. But yeah, maybe I saw Lex Cass with three, four. Maybe five. I don't know if I saw LCA with three. But credit to them. Uh, they look like a dangerous team. And like yep. I said earlier, uh, I don't understand how a team that is this dangerous offensively playing those balls that they are is three, five, and one. Because uh, uh, they, are, they are doing some quality work against a quality team. That finds uh, Banahan trying to find a little touch across again. And uh, just a little too deep for a center midfielder to come on to. Lexington Catholic is not going to want to come off the gas here because LCA has shown that they can they can score 
And uh, if LCA gets to four, um, they're going to come with a load of confidence trying to get that fifth. Philip Scott here playing it in, trying to find some posi. He just couldn't get it. He still got control. Oh, lost it there. Jackson Kern with the ball. Nope, he tried to find Banahan, but could not get there. Nobody in the middle of the park for LCA. The ball makes it out of play. Throwing coming up Eagles. Yeah. And some positive going to touch across. Finds Workman. Workman's trying to find Scott across the field. Gets snuffed out there. I think pound for pound, Workman is getting all he's got out of that, that little. He's, he's not a big guy. Oh. Nice save. Banahan yeah. again showing off why he's Lexcast's leading scorer, but Eric Burrows with another fantastic save. That's, that's That was definitely a bullet at him right there. <laughs> that was a quick Hen one. Yeah. Hendrickson still on it. Trying to find Phillip Scott and I uh, just couldn't couldn't get the touch through there. Too much traffic. <laughs> Lex Cats put number twenty four, John Arena, in the, the middle of the field who's now trying to run on to those crosses. And quick play out here. Peralta. Playing in the middle. Cleaned up. <laughs> Lex guys gonna gonna wanna keep scoring here. They don't wanna let up. They've got other players who want goals too. Banahan taking this corner instead of being on the end of one. Puts a low one in that's cleaned up. He'll want to have done better with that, that corner kick. That was not the play he wanted to make. You gonna try to make up for it here, maybe. Nice Peralta. Peralta takes a touch in. He's going to have to drop it out. Nope. That's a big touch. Can he cross it? He does. Oh. Had a ricochet the wrong way. <laughs> Banahan would have had another one there. It, it hit him in the noggin. He just could not get enough of the noggin on it to deflect it toward goal. Scott gets the foul for LCA trying to fight through that crowd and he doesn't get through but gets the foul. When's your next soccer game? What are you going to cover next? Well, we were scheduled to cover the girls game tomorrow, but we got to do the Lysing Legends playoff game. Oh, yeah. So... Our next soccer game will probably be on Thursday night. You picked a matchup yet? I don't. I think it's open for Thursday. Let me see what I've got here. You know what day Thursday is by chance? <laughs> I guess that'd be the sixth, right? Now if today is the fourth, that would be the sixth. 
Yeah, it's on the Who's, six. <laughs> well, with this lead, uh, Lexington Catholic has moved Jackson Kern uh, more up to what would have been his natural position this year. Um, and he's making a run now into the box trying to get on the end of this free kick. And there's Workman. Workman trying to play the long ball to Simpazi. There's a little uncertainty on that back line. That was free kick, a little handball there, but no harm. Throw into Arena. That's Thursday's up for grabs. We'll have to see. Uh, obviously, Dunbar plays here at Lexington Catholic on Thursday. That, so it might be a good one. If you have a chance to go to that game, you should go to that game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lobbying for you, <laughs> but I'm telling you, that's going to be a good game. We haven't really known what Paul Dunbar has this year because they replaced so much of their team last year. Yeah. Um, but the team they brought back was yes. Audrey Rawls and, and – Marin Roach, that's a good team. They just went down to the Purples Classic in Bowling Green last weekend, and they swept all three games and took home a trophy. And uh, Lexington Catholic, uh, yeah. is nothing to sneeze at. Player and, shaking up out on the field. That's why the cameras don't move. Just so you guys know. Looking on the schedule, we'll see. I think uh, Tory McLaughlin has scored a couple of goals uh, for Lexington Catholic in their last game. Um, I'm trying to think who, who she scored those goals on, but oh, it was on Dunbar. Is it Dunbar? Or a repeat Dunbar performance? Are you sure it's Lexington and Dunbar, or Lexington Christian and Dunbar? I have to double check that, but I'll check it. I'll say Lexington Catholic and Dunbar place here on the six. All right, now we're back underway. A lot of time came off the clock, uh, over a minute on that uh, player that was shaking up. Just missed. Watch how close this was. Good pass and just missed. It was a slide, slide there by Lexington Catholic. All right, here we go. So, yeah, Dunbar's at Lexington Catholic on uh, Wednesday night. Are you on the boys or girls? So, boys. Okay. Boys game. Yep. All right. Well, I, I thought it was, you were talking about girls. Oh, but no, boys too because, um, you know, after we saw Dunbar kind of get blown out by uh, Louisville Collegiate, uh, Dunbar has put together some nice results, beat a, what, maybe one of the top teams in Indiana mm -hmm. uh, last week, got themselves up to number five. Um, and we, we've seen here what uh, – Lexington Catholic can do offensively. I mean, uh, every game uh, between Dunbar and Lexington Catholic last year came down to the wire, it seemed like, and it had two PK shootouts. And, uh, you know, we'll see what, they both uh, bring a lot back. Let's see, Thursday night in volleyball. I wonder if there's any big matchups with that. I was talking about the girls' matchup. That girls' matchup has already taken place. Lex Catholic managed to beat. Oh, here we got a Paul's Riley Kern. He hits it down. Can he get the shot away? He's trying to oh, control. He oh, it. yeah, that was a gift to him. Jackson Kern finishes the chance that his teammate didn't finish earlier with that three ball right up the middle. Long pass from deep that he's able to head on and gets it under the keeper. He had to shed a defender, too. Did he just look over at the sideline and hold, like, the <laughs> telephone up to his ear and his jaw? 
did he give that sign after he scored <laughs> that goal? Like somebody call my mama, I just scored. Is that how that was? Well, they were working the concession stand earlier. <laughs> somebody call my mama, I just scored. I Riley think Kern. I think she's down there. All right, excuse me. <laughs> I said Riley, didn't I? Jackson Kern. Jackson Kern. Jackson Kurt saying, see, coach, you don't need me at center back. I can play up top. And that makes it 6-3 for Lexington Catholic. I'm going to. He was going, having to go for another one right there. And that's a good one, two here. Playing it across. Peralta. Is, oh, off, off the post. The pole. Man. Peralta almost had his second birthday gift there, but the post denied it. Oh. The goalkeeper's best friend. Three legs on that one. Man. Jackson Kern up top. He's going to let it go. Oh, just wide. Now they're starting to feel it a little bit, I think, Lexington Catholic. They're just uh, taking, taking advantage of a uh, Probably a tired LCA team here. And uh, trying to have a little more fun. Six to three, our score here in Lexington with two minutes left to go in this ball game. Lots of goals in this one. We did not expect this many goals, but these guys have made it a shootout tonight. Yep. It has been amazing. And LCA has acquitted itself very well. I mean, I think, you know, even though the score is not coming out their way, they have done some really nice things out here, like this right here. They've shown that they can turn teams over and they can be dangerous when they get to it. Just, uh, you know, probably need to take that shot a little earlier as soon as he got clearance when he made that run through. And Good pass. Caspi Clay is trying to find some. Oh, he's well, – as soon as he touched it, the, the ref – Called the offside. That's one of the things they do this year that maybe they didn't do last year before when that ball was played and the player was offside. They were trying uh, to get him a hat trick on that. Yeah, they would raise that flag up immediately as soon as the ball was played, but now they're waiting for the offside player to actually touch the ball before they raise the flag. You know, every, every time we do this, somebody's got a potential for a hat trick or does have a hat trick every time you and I get on the mic together. And Shea Romerson. Yep. Tonight we got uh, yeah, we got two people near it. Two near it tonight. Maybe three near it. I don't remember who all scored. Vanahan have two. Kern's got one. Kate yeah. Casey Clay's got two. Uh, yeah, Sipazi's for, L got for two. LCA, Sapazi, yeah. Sapazi's got two. And number Peralta five there for Catholic. Playing it in the middle. Who's number five for Catholic again? Casey Clay. Yeah. So him and Sapazi. Got a player down and. Jackson Kern does the sporting thing and just plays it out. Yeah. Ja Jackson that Kern, he's the a, clock with 18 seconds left. He's a good kid, like I said. So I'm looking at Thursday night for volleyball just to see what's going on. Western Hills at LCA. Bourbon County at West Jessman. Number 19, who's listed as Lincoln Dragu, if I'm pronouncing that right. Can I give a shout out to my to my buddy Andrew Carlson while we got a player down with Bluegrass Orthopedics? Andrew you Carlson, uh, just one of the best there is in the state. I'm not here tonight because, of course, Catholic, you know, does all their home games. Um, at least he didn't come out on the field tonight. He may be over on the sideline possibly, but. Bluegrass Orthopedics, man, they're awesome. It feels like you've done fewer sponsor drops tonight. You off your game? <laughs> you covered me up with them last time. I, you know, yeah. I hope I hope I've not been stepping on them. Oh no, no, not at all. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to uh, get everybody in. You know what I mean? But I do want to thank Atkinson Sims and Kermode PLLC. Atkinson, Sims, and Camo, PLLC for all their support here on the network. These guys do amazing jobs. If you're thinking about uh, bankruptcy, give them a call. 
check out their website, ash-law.com. A final here in this one, the Knights over the Eagles, 6 to 3. 6 to 3. I want to thank Whitaker Bank tonight. I want to thank Rafferty's. I want to thank uh, who all do I want to thank here? Looking down my list, of course, Mingy Beef Jerky, the official game day snack. I'll prep spin. White Grim Maggot. I want to thank those guys. Uh, Lexington Diagnostic Center. If uh, you're looking to save some money on your next scan, give them a call. They can save you hundreds of dollars. Um, I want to thank Crown Trophy. I want to thank uh, uh, Scholastic Ball Report. I want to thank them. And uh, Roberts Insurance. I want to thank those guys, too. So. All right, Jared, uh, any final thoughts for tonight? Well, this has been an up-and-down affair, a much more exciting game. Maybe we gave it credit for going in with the number eight team in the state facing a district rival. The district rival showed that they could hang. Uh, they hung for a half, uh, but then uh, Lex Gath just came out like a house of fire in the second half and scored three goals in, in 11 minutes and, and kind of salted it away. But this has been a, a, a really fun game, and it shows you just how competitive the 43rd district in the 11th region is. Thanks for having me. Oh man, thank you for uh, for giving me a, a shout out today and asking if you can help out. And appreciate you always welcome you uh, anytime you want to come on, man. <laughs> well, I do love to talk, so I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so uh, for Jerry Peck, this is William Warfield saying until next time, which could be Thursday night for you Knights fans out there as uh, Dunbar comes over here. And we may have that game for you on. Uh, Thursday night, possibly, here on Prep Spin. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.